welcome to the video. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever since I'm not uploading a video every day. It's still so weird. I wake up in the morning, expect to see your guys' comments, and there's nothing. We'll get used to it. It's definitely gonna help out my schedule. But anyway, as you can tell, I am on my way back to New Jersey for the very last time ever. The next time I'll be making this trip is with my family just for graduation. I was leaving the house this morning. I was like, oh, I'll be back in a week. It's so weird to say. So I've got class this Monday, the 25th, and then next Monday on the 2nd, and I'll be home on the 3rd for good. So literally one more week of school, of college, of classes, of work, everything. And thankfully, I don't have any exams. But anyway, I want to get into this video. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Just gonna, it's gonna be a, a recap of like week seven. So as you can see, I tracked everything up until Wednesday, so Sunday through Wednesday. Weights pre stayed pretty much the same all week in the uh, 154s, which is great. What I want to talk about is something that a lot of people struggle with, and I probably get messages, emails about this almost every day. And I'm so thankful that you guys do ask me about these questions because I, when I first started tracking all of the uh, tracking macros, I had a ton of questions too. So thank you guys for asking me questions. Now, so Thursday and Friday, I knew I was gonna be eating out and not tracking. So a lot of people and myself included year, like a year ago would say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna eat too much, I'm going to put on weight, and I need to put myself in more of a deficit in the week before. Do not do that. Do not punish yourself just because it's your birthday, maybe it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever holiday is. If you're cutting and you're already in a deficit, don't punish yourself the week before or after and put yourself in more of a deficit just for a day or two of maybe extra eating. Because one, if you're putting yourself in a deficit the days prior, when you actually get to the days of the holiday or whatever it is, you're probably gonna wanna eat more because you put yourself in more of a deficit than you already were. So you're gonna go in there hungry and maybe overeat than you had already planned. So what I did for week seven leading up until my birthday was just pretty much maintained. I didn't do anything extra, there was no extra cardio, and my weight stayed the same. Thursday was, I was in the city, you guys saw some of my food, I didn't track, I didn't worry about it, I didn't do work out on Thursday, I just walked around in the city, I, so I consider that my cardio. Friday morning was my birthday, woke up a little bit heavier, totally expected, especially the food I was eating. I Sugar was probably through the roof. I definitely felt bloated that day, did not drink enough water, but that didn't bother me. Thursday, I was going to work out. I wasn't gonna do legs because I was very sore after walking eight plus miles the day before, but um, it did not work out where I went to the gym. If I truly, truly wanted to go to the gym, I could have, but I would have had to do some extra planning, and it was my birthday. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take another day off. It's not that big of a deal. So I didn't stress out about that. I just went about my day and enjoyed it. So I did not work out on Friday either. And on my birthday, I tracked pretty much everything. And all my meals were clean. And I considered clean like oatmeal, eggs, chicken, rice, and veggies. I had all that during my birthday except for dinner. So that I was just kind of, you know what, I need some carbs, some protein, a little bit of everything. So I just enjoyed dinner, had a little bit of cake at dinner as well for my birthday. Woke up the next morning. I don't know if I weighed myself the next morning. But a Saturday, I tracked everything Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday came along, it was very busy, like you guys saw with my sister's senior prom, getting things ready for that. And so I did not go to the gym either that day. So that's three days in a row that I did not step in the gym. Did I freak out? Did I restrict myself in eating? No. I did do a workout in my room, just got some abs in, and I've got a 10 pound dumbbell. So I just did a little arm workout, just enough to get a sweat in, and that was it. You know, just to do something. So I felt like I wanted to do something but not go all the way into the gym. So I did that really quick. Went about my day, ate out at Panera Bread, really enjoyed myself, but I tracked everything, kept it all within my macros. Woke up lighter on Sunday, tracked everything on Sunday, even enjoyed a family dinner Sunday night, but I tracked to get everything on Sunday. I did go to the gym on Sunday, so that was 
the first time being in the gym since Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, no gym. Went in there on Sunday, felt awesome to be back there. I did some cardio, leg, calf, and back and buys. Felt really good to get back into the gym. I tracked everything, and today's Monday. You guys saw my weight this morning, 154.8. So I'm right back to where I was last week. So this weekend did not affect me in any way. The only thing it did was basically maintain. I was able to enjoy foods on Thursday and Friday, and then right back on track Saturday, Sunday, and now today's Monday. So right back to where I was. I don't have to do any extra cardio or restrict myself at all because it's my, it was my birthday, or if it's Christmas, you know, whatever holiday it is, do not punish yourself if you're in if you're cutting, you don't need to punish yourself because it's a day to celebrate. Now, weeks ahead, this last thing I want to talk about is I'm going to continue this cut for the next two to three weeks. So I'm at school for one more week and then I'll be home the rest of the time basically. So I'm going to do one more week of dining while I'm at school and then probably two more weeks when I'm home and that'll I'll finish up the cut probably around the graduation time which is May 16th depending on how far I get within the next two to three weeks but I'm thinking since I'm back to where I started 154 that I should do pretty well in the next two to three weeks macros have been around 180 protein between 220 and 250 carb and about 40 to 50 fat so the only thing I'm going to tweak for the next two to three weeks will be my carbs just decreasing those slowly and then I'm going to be changing cardio what I'm going to do for cardio is change it up and start doing HIT, so high intensity interval training I'm going to be doing that on the bike and what I like to do I started doing this yesterday so on Sunday 30 seconds on 30 seconds off or 15 on 15 off and what I mean by that is 30 seconds or 15 seconds as hard as I can and then I just kind of coast through for 30 seconds or 15 seconds and then keep doing that so it's going to be I'm not going to down to 200 calories a session but it's going to be every day instead of the 300 calories I was doing four days a week so cardio every day hit training on the bike for about 25 minutes for 200 calories that's what my change is going to be but if you guys have any questions just leave it down in the comment box below I hope you enjoyed the footage from this weekend it was definitely a great weekend with family and friends and you guys are seeing this video on Tuesday it means I literally will just be in school for one more week next Tuesday I'll be back home I cannot wait it's kind of hard to believe that this is my last drive back to school but I'm going to cut this part short because my camera now says 10 minutes and I don't want to be I don't want this to be too long but thank you guys so much again for all the support, for all the videos lately. I really do appreciate that. Welcome to the channel to all my new subscribers. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys again. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. We're just about 700. We'll probably be over 700 subscribers by the time this video comes out. So thank you guys for getting us there. Don't forget to use that hashtag. Learn, inspire, grow. I'm going to be checking that on all the social media. So if you guys post it, I'll definitely see that. I'm probably going to check it every day. So continue to use that. But that's it. I'm going to continue this drive back. I got class at 2 o'clock and a test in that. But that's it. Thank you all once again. And as always, have a great day. Give me reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me.